What's going on guys? Kurt here with another 5 minute guitar lesson. Today's song is going to be Too Good at Goodbyes by Sam Smith. Let's take a quick look at the song structure so we've got a better idea of what we need to learn in this song. We can bring this into three different guitar parts. The one that's played in the verses, the refrains, and the outro. The one played in the pre-chorus, and the one played in the chorus. Learn the song even quicker by checking out the link in the description below where you can follow along with this tutorial but also get lyrics and chords on top of them and any other cool things covered in this video. So tune up your guitar, put your capo on your fifth fret, and we're ready to go. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up or a comment in the comment section below. Your feedback is what gives me the motivation to keep making more videos. As well, if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button to get access to all my latest content straight on your YouTube homepage. This entire song is gonna use the same four chords, in the same order actually. A minor, C, G, and D minor. Okay, let's start with the verse part. So this one is gonna be really simple. We're just gonna play on the one. And that's it. Shouldn't take you long to get that one. So this part's almost as simple as the verse part. The only thing I'm doing differently here is I'm playing on the one and then the two. But then on the end of the two, I'm muting the strings. This is really easy to do if you don't know how. All you're gonna do is just play your chord and then put the side of your hand onto the strings and it stops them. Nice and easy, that's all it takes. So how you're gonna play this one is going to be one, two, and three, four. 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 That's all there is to it.
Moving on to the chorus part, this is where the song gets the liveliest, so I'm gonna play kind of following along with the drum beat here. So if we break this down, it's still the exact same chord progression, still in the exact same order. I'm just playing a few more beats here. I'm playing on the one, two, and a, uh, and then on the four, and a. Uh. One, two, and a, uh, three, four, and a, uh, one, two, and a, uh, three, four, and a, uh, one, two, and a, uh, three, four, and a, uh, one, two, and a, uh, three, four, and a. Uh. Still pretty simple. And that is the third part that will liven up your chorus a bit. And if you can play these three parts, you can play the entire song. Did you like this video? Well, then you better hit the subscribe button right now so you get access to all my latest content right when I upload it on your YouTube homepage. Once you've done that, click on this video or that video and launch your next guitar adventure.